Hey guys, now we're going to talk about the melee fighter. So let's select the melee and set a detection for him. We want to chase the player and the obstacle is set to default. So let's uh, see right here. Now I want him to detect from the eye point. So let's create one for him. Create a empty, let's call it eyes and set it right here. Cool. Select the eyes game object and set as a detection point of reference. Now it's right where I want it. Cool. Now let's uh, add our something for him to actually fight. Go to scripts, FS, FPS controller, prefab, and drag and drop here. It's already set with the tag and layer player, so let's hit play and see if the AI will come to me. Oops, something went wrong. Uh, I need to delete this camera here. Cool. Okay, he detected me and he's coming after. So let's see if he can fight. Yep, but he's not doing any damage to me. Hmm. The reason is that we set a detection and he will detect and come to me, but we also need to set the melee manager who you can hit. So open the hit properties and the hit damage tags and you can see here that the first uh, layer, the first tag is enemy. Let's change to player and hit play again. Cool, now I am suffering damage and so is he. And you can see that I also causing damage to him. <laughs> he's fleeing because his health is lower than 30 and that's what the FSM does uh, for this case. We will talk more about the FSM in on a future tutorial. Now let's add a weapon, melee weapon to this character. You can go to AI controller and um, prefabs, weapons. And here we have a great shield, a katana and a sword. So let's add a sword and a great shield to, to the character. Just drag and drop the sword to his right hand and align it as you want it. Kind of like this. And the great shield to the left hand. Try and align the best we ca you can but we can edit better in play mode when he's defending. So let's hit play and yeah, not bad for the first try. So the melee manager will automatically assign the weapons when you hit play. Uh, don't worry about that. You can simply replace the mesh of the object here to any other sort you have in mind a 3D model and here you can set the ID for the attacks for example the move set ID how he uh, will move when he's equipped with this weapon and you will see the meter controller has here a locomotion a free locomotion that 
it is when he is just walking around and this straight locomotion is the combat mode when he's close to you he's he's going to strafe around you and this has a custom move set so let's take a look here we have a unarmed move set which is idle walk and run and strafing around and we have a holding melee weapon it's basically the same but in this case we have animations only for walk instead of uh, run and sprinting like the unarmed so and we change that to our parameter moveset id which you can set up here in your weapon in this case it's the moveset id 1 moveset id 1 is the melee weapon and we also have the attack id which is one the attack id is located in the full body layer here we have um, the substate machine attacks and we have here is strong attacks and weak attacks we can talk about this later uh, let's go to weak attacks and the unarmed is that punch two punches and a kick that he does when he's not equipped with a melee weapon and the sword attack that is going to enter through here uh, using the attack id equals one which is the one we set up for this weapon you can create uh, other movesets and other attack ids with custom animations adding your own you can simply uh, make a copy paste here and add it like I don't know X attack and here you can have as many animations as you want uh, users of the melee combat template already are familiar with this so you can check the documentation of course it is it is all explained you can also watch and tutorials from the melee combat it's the same concept it's the same idea you have the start and end damage which is uh, the hitbox that will enable and disable from time to time of your animation you have a long movement at uh, which will give a little bit of movement to the controller uh, you can add damage multiplier, recoil and reaction ID which is also triggered uh, through the the full body layer here it is, B reaction is when you receive damage and B recoil, uh, hit recoil is when you for example hit a wall or hit a shield it will trigger the recoil animation okay uh, that's it for the melee now, for the next tutorial, let's take a look into the shooter.